Today is the 11th birthday of oh, President gosh. Obama's youngest daughter, Sasha, or as I like to call her, the uppity one. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> Jesus. The uppity one. Are you a mortal? <laughs> Here hey guys, welcome to my channel Flavor. The flavor today is Norm McDonald on Stereotype Joke Compilations. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at Norm McDonald on Stereotype Joke Compilations. According to a new survey, 55% of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Please note that the percentage in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. <laughs> oh, wow! For those of you hissing at that joke, it should be noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, <laughs> now you don't know what the hell to do. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. <laughs> black is great. Black is great. Black is fantastic. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, black is fantastic. Even though, you know, they're not black anymore. But yeah, then yeah. again, we're not white, right? Right. We're pink like his fucking asshole. <laughs> I've seen it. Well, I'll cover, I'll cover Bobby's asshole deep down. <laughs> beautiful. It's beautiful. This week is Taxi Cab Appreciation Week, so to all you taxi cab drivers out there, I'd appreciate it if you'd take a shower once in a while. <laughs> 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 PLO leader Yasser Arafat announced this week that his wife is pregnant. Happy couple said they really don't care if the child is a boy or a girl, just as long as it hates Jews. <laughs> Woo! The United Paramount Network's new show, Star Trek Voyager, finished in first place Monday night with a 14.7 rating. For those of you who don't know, one rating point is equal to 950,000 nerds. <laughs> oh. Guy goes, you got the do rag. He goes, you know, I'm fucking about a woman, you know, and I don't want to answer the phone. Oh shit, it could be a job, and, uh, you know. And then, uh, well, and, and, and you know, uh, you after you go, you take the do rag, you wipe off your dick with the do rag. And I'm like, no, I don't do that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. well, there's good news this week from strife torn Ireland, where a historic peace agreement has just been signed. Gee, I wonder if anyone will celebrate by drinking. <laughs> the Irish. Angry over the Atlanta Braves and Cleveland Indians' use of Indian caricatures as logos, Native Americans showed up at the World Series tonight. They chanted for hours to protest Indian stereotypes. Though it didn't help their cause any when it uh, started to rain. Rain dance. Orange is the new black. <laughs> But not in my apartment building. Kevin is the new black. <laughs> in Nashua, New Hampshire this week, a high school student, Chris Conley, while attempting to dunk a basketball, lost his balance, crashed down on the rim, and shattered two front teeth. Ooh. Gee, I wonder if by some crazy chance Chris is uh, white. <laughs> she doesn't know how to dunk. Well, here's actually a joke about Donald Sterling. Oh, good. All the charities that Donald Sterling donated millions of dollars to are giving the money back to him. Well, that'll show him. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I can be allowed a personal opinion, you know, I think Harrison Ford's new mustache works. It's good point, And by works, I mean looks really gay. <laughs> Well, this week 
heavyweight world chess champion Garry Kasparov defeated an IBM computer in their six-game chess series. Experts are calling the encounter between chess wizard and supercomputer historic because, for the first time ever, it brought together both geeks and nerds. <laughs> oh, boy. Get back. Some gold-plated chains would make a nice retirement gift for a very, very good slave. <laughs> Look at Super Dick's face. Are you serious? Well, this was written. Are you serious? This was written years Did ago. Did you just write that? I didn't write Did it. Did you just say that? No, I read it. Yeah. Did you just say that? You read that? In honor of this year's Academy Awards, Carnival Airlines is offering anyone named Oscar a free flight to or from Los Angeles. The airline had tried a similar promotion in the past for the Tony Awards, but according to airline spokesmen, they found that their planes were packed with too many, quote, greasy Italians. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Last week on Larry King Live, Marlon Brando made the shocking statement that Hollywood is, quote, run by Jews. In response, outraged Jewish organizations made it snow in New York in April. <laughs> in overseas news, an attempt to lift the ban on gays serving in the British Armed Forces has been defeated in Parliament. This raises a difficult legal question. How do you exactly tell if a British guy is gay? <laughs> In Bridgeport, Connecticut, the Staticote Indian Tribe is seeking recognition by the Bureau of Indian Affairs in order to open either a manufacturing company or a casino. Hmm, I wonder which one they'll choose. <laughs> manufacturing company. Or the I can see that. Despite recent criticism, the School Board of Oakland, California has voted to proceed with its controversial Ebonics programs for city schools. In fact, school board officials today announced the winner of the first citywide Ebonics spelling bee, fourth grader Sunduk Kim. Congratulations, Sunduk Kim. Good job. Potential jurors for the O.J. Simpson case were asked to fill out a 75-page jury questionnaire this week. In the entire state of California, only one person got a perfect score. Chow Ming Wu, who after oh, the trial, no. plans to attend Caltech. <laughs> In Michigan, state historical commission officials say they will not interfere with the building of a new major sports stadium, even if construction unearths historical artifacts. However, state Indian affair officials say that if relics from a Native American tribe are found, they would like to have the land set aside and designated as a sacred tribal burial ground slash giant casino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, According to the U.S. Bureau of the Census, California's population is expected to grow nearly 18 million by the year 2025. Also by the year 2025, it will be much easier to find a vacant apartment in Mexico. <laughs> According to a new survey by the Women's Vote Project, women would be more likely to vote if they could send in ballots by mail or if polls were open longer. Also, more women would vote if you were permitted to bake your vote. They like to bake. Yeah, not great, not great. Finally, in, Miss, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a man allowed his eight-year-old daughter to take the wheel of his car, and an accident ensued that damaged seven other cars and injured six people. Wow. Which, once again, proves my theory. Women can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Four Wisconsin men have been charged with felony hate crimes after burning a man's buggy simply because he was Amish. If convicted, the men face up to 25 years in prison, but furious wow. Amish leaders say that is not enough. 
They want the dunking wheel. <laughs> on Wednesday, NASA launched the Space Shuttle Columbia on its 87th voyage. This trip by the shuttle will feature the first spacewalk ever by a Japanese astronaut who will get to take in the unique perspective of Earth from space. Gee, I wonder if there's any chance he'll uh, take a picture. <laughs> a tourist, eh? Asian tourist. This week, computer hackers broke into Yahoo, the Internet's most popular website, and vowed to unleash a crippling computer virus if a fellow hacker is not released from prison. Expert warned that, these, that catching these cyber terrorists will not be an easy task and may require the cooperation of both nerds and geeks. I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. <laughs> he brought that joke one way. He brought it back. And just when he thought it was done, brought it back again. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. We don't hire women. <laughs> to all the women out there, I don't believe in that. It's funny. I don't believe in that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, stereotypical jokes. Compilations by Norm McDonald. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any future videos. Until next time. Deuces.